What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Now, in today's video, we're going to be reacting to China reportedly trying to make super soldiers. That's crazy, man. China, they always trying to be one step ahead of the U.S. They trying to make super soldiers. I guess they basically trying to, like, change their soldiers' DNA, which is illegal. But, I mean, it's crazy. But without further ado, let's get into this video, man. Starting now. General, I want to turn to the China threat. You were really among the first people to come on this program and raise the red flag about China. You told us that they were building uh, a, a very strong military. We know that they've got the largest navy in the world. Well, the director of national intelligence, John Ratcliffe, uh, joined me on Sunday Morning Futures this weekend to talk about uh, the intelligence that shows the Chinese Communist Party and what it's doing. Here's John Ratcliffe. It's called gene editing. Gene it's editing. altering DNA, and it's one of the things that our intelligence shows that China is doing. They've got a—the PRC, the People's Republic of China, has two million strong in its military, and it's trying to make them stronger through, uh, you know, gene editing. And that's just Jeez. one of the ways that, uh, uh, you know, China is trying to— That's crazy. Uh, —essentially dominate the planet and set the rules in the world order. And, and why it's so important and people need to understand is— this is an authoritarian regime. It doesn't care about people's individual rights. We've seen what they've done to the Uyghurs. We've seen what they've done in Hong Kong. Um, it's That's about crazy. putting the state That's first. That's scary, too. And um, that is DNA. the exact opposite of what has always made America great. What's your reaction? We've talked about what they're doing in their use of artificial intelligence in the military. But to actually do this gene editing and have this program to test members of the PLO, two million communists, to try to make them better and more equipped to handle extreme weather, more equipped to handle chemical attacks, pretty extraordinary the lengths that they're going. That's crazy, bro. Yes, it, it's not surprising, you know. Uh, it's not surprising. It's, China, this bro. is an authoritarian, it's a repressive regime that, uh, as a premium, is is constantly in control of its people. And and the fact that they're trying to use gene editing tools uh, to, to change the nature of human beings um, is not surprising, because <laughs> this is who they really are. And we had that similar experience, did we not, uh, with Nazism and that authoritarian regime trying to conduct human experiments to do the very same thing. It's really to advance the Chinese Communist Party right. and the state is what this is this is all about. And the fact that they would take that's human crazy. beings and put them through this is quite something else. And the, and the ethical questions that surround that are certainly serious. It's one thing to use yeah. techniques like that to control disease. It's another thing when you're altering human beings. That that is that is clearly something that the United States uh, and like-minded countries, democracies, would never take on. Yeah, that's I crazy. mean, is China readying to go to war with the United States? And meanwhile, you've got the financial services companies all in on China. Goldman Sachs going to acquire 100 percent of its securities firm there. What China wants to do, Maria, is dominate and control the Asia Pacific region, which they have made some real progress at, at the expense of the United States. They are the most rapid growing military in the world. They have a very strong economy. They're in a technology race right. to control the advanced technologies of the world. Mm -hmm. They want to dominate and control the world and change the international order, but they want to do it without having to fight a war. And they, they want to avoid that war, but they will use their military to, to bully, to intimidate, and if necessary, yeah. go to conflict if necessary. But they are. Given the success they have had and the progress they've made um, okay. avoiding conflict, that's that's really where they that's are. That's crazy, bro. All right, Hopefully General, you're about to go to war with China, man. I just want to ask you real quick, do you think that the U.S. should get back into the Iran nuclear deal? That's what Jack's, uh, Jake Sullivan said uh, Joe Biden would do. I don't think we should get back into the nuclear deal as it was previously constructed because we know it's but flawed. I think they have unbelievable leverage from the Trump administration in terms of the sanctions, the progress made with the Arabs yeah. and the Israelis to leverage the Iranians and get a better deal. They have that opportunity before them. Don't just we'll knee jerk see. and remove the sanctions. Use some leverage against them. I think the, the Iranians would have come forward and negotiated yeah. with President Trump if he was reelected. 
because they're in a very desperate situation. We Man. have leverage now that we did not have in 2014 and 2015. All right, General, we'll be watching. Stop Thanks for watching. Good to see you this morning, sir. <laughs> nah, but yeah, man, that's the end of that video, man. I don't know. Y'all leave y'all comments in the section. Well, y'all leave y'all opinions in the comment section, man. Please like, comment, subscribe for more videos. I'm out. Peace.